Hello all my natural beauties and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bibi and I'm here to help you fall in love with your skin again. And what I do on a weekly basis is I just give you some things that you can do on a weekly basis, a monthly basis or even a daily basis to really fall in love with your skin again and heal your skin. And today we're just going to do the same thing. But we are going to talk about something a little bit different and especially if you're someone that's on Instagram, you will be seeing a lot of this going around where people are taking those little rollers and rolling their skin like it's so much fun to do and it really isn't that much fun to do. Now, don't get me wrong, microneedling is really, really good for the skin. And that's exactly what it is, is literally I'm going to take a roller that's full of needles and I'm going to stick them into your skin. And if you think that sounds a bit pain painful, you're right, because it is. Now, I'm not going to say that you're going to be climbing off the bed and it's going to be so sore that you won't be able to handle it. But microneedling does have some level of discomfort to it, depending, of course, on how well you handle discomfort. Because yes, I am going to be sticking needles into your skin. Now, what is microneedling and why would we want to do it? The process behind microneedling is literally that I'm going to be causing injuries on the skin to force it to start its natural healing process. And within that natural healing process, then we can start stimulating other things like collagen and elastin and things like that, that will help the skin to heal. Now, when it comes to the needles itself, it depends on what rollers you use, what brand you use. Some of them have 100 needles per roller, others have 170 per roll, 170 needles per roller, some have 300 per rollers, it just depends. The size of the needles also differ. You get a 0.05 millimeter, then you get a 0.1 millimeter, which is usually what we could use within a beauty salon. And then you go to your 0.15 millimeters and your 0.2 millimeters, where it now becomes a medical treatment as well, and generally has to be done by either a dermatologist or a medically trained person or an esthetician that has advanced training in skincare. It's not just something that you'll find around any corner in any beauty salon. Now, the main difference between microneedling and let's say, for instance, chemical peels, which I did a video on last week, so make sure you check that out as well to see what chemical peels can do for your skin. But chemical peels, laser, microdermabrasion, all of these things, what they do is they generally remove the top layer of your skin. That can cause a bit of downtime. Now with micro needling, we don't remove any layers on the skin. We literally just cause little micro channels into the skin so that we can start healing the skin. So there is no downtime with this. We're not removing any of the layers of the skin, so we won't be causing sensitivity in the long run or any redness as per se for longer than three to four hours after the treatment. And then your skin will go back to normal. Now, as we roll the skin, and I will insert a quick video here on how an actual rolling facial looks like. I am gonna speed it up though, because it is quite a bit of a process. Actual rolling the skin can take anything from 15 to 20 minutes and sometimes we do actually add emla to the skin to kind of numb it for people that are particularly sensitive. But let me put in that clip so you can have a quick look and then we'll continue.
So as you can see, you literally just take this little roller and yes, like on Instagram, you do roll it all over your skin. However, the client that we did use here is very, very sensitive and we did use a numbing cream on us so that it is a bit more bearable. But what we do is, like I said, we cause those injuries so that your skin can start producing collagen for healing purposes and elastin for healing purposes as well. What we also do is we create channels like little pathways through the skin and enhance the transdermal delivery system. So now when I put a serum on your skin or a cream or a mask or anything else, they directly penetrate straight into the deep layers of the skin. They don't have to work their way and fight their way through that top layer of the skin because I've created pathways for whatever I put on your skin to penetrate immediately. So that then also gives you immediate results that you can see that you can see directly after your treatment. And like I said, there is no downtime. Yes, you could be potentially red for about three to four hours after, bit of sensitivity to the touch for about three to four hours after, but then you're good to go. And because I don't remove the top layer of your skin, I'm not making you sun sensitive. But that doesn't mean you can skip the SPF. You still need to apply your SPF on a regular basis anyway, well, daily basis anyway, to protect your skin. Now, microneedling is really, really good for anti-aging because it does help to restore volume and plumpness to the skin. It does have the ability to help with fine lines and wrinkles and also sagging skin because it does help strengthen and produce elastin that will pull the skin a little bit more tight. It does have the ability to reduce pores and of course help with removing texture on the skin. Now I'm not going to shrink your pores to the point where they're not going to be there. I'm just going to reduce them to the point where they appear less and look smoother with microneedling. And of course it can help with superficial scarring. Now this is the type of scarring that you would get if you had a bit of acne and you went squeezing and you got a bit of scarring here and there. This will not help with deep set scarring, unfortunately, but for superficial scarring, it is amazing. And like I said, your results will be visible within your first session. It's a very effective treatment and it works immediately. And that is microneedling. Yes, I do it on my own skin. Yes, I do it for myself. And if I'm really lazy, I ask other people to do it for me. It's a simple treatment. It seems a bit like it wouldn't do anything, but it really gives your skin some of the best results that I've seen for any treatment. And it's very effective with very little equipment, so it's not as expensive as you would think. And that's it. That's all I have for my natural beauties today. So if you're looking into trying something new, definitely look into microneedling. Try it for six sessions. You will not regret it and you will love your skin from the first session. So of course, if you've liked what you've seen today and you've learned something new, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like and share it with your friends so they can learn this as well. If you have any questions or any suggestions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can or even make a video on your question, who knows? Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like, so you can be notified when I upload every Friday for your skincare fix. But then again, until I see all my natural beauties again, have a lovely day and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.